let's learn how to pray. Remember, the Prophet peace be upon him said, "Pray as you've seen me pray." So. Everything we're showing here is from authentic hadith with evidence how the Prophet prayed. The sutra, the partition, he said one should pray towards it. And this is what we're talking about. The intention, one must be aware in their mind which prayer they are praying. One must clear their mind from anything not related to the prayer and be aware that this could be your last prayer. And so try best to, be per to perfect it. Note the Prophet, peace be upon him, advised, when you stand up to pray, perform your prayer as if it were your last. You don't know if you're going to live until tomorrow, until during the prayer. Saying takbir, God is the greatest. Then the Prophet, peace be upon him, was raised his fingers, hands slightly up to his shoulders, as illustrated here. And then he would say, and begin saying, Allahu Akbar, God is the greatest. Now we go to the placing of the hands. Note that the Prophet peace upon him placed his right hand over his left on his chest, as shown here. So we're taking it up again. Now you raise the hands to the shoulders, and then you place your hands right over the left. Note that the Prophet peace upon him, when he prayed, his eyesight would not leave. The place where he would make the prostration. There's no looking around from side to side. You want to focus. Keep your eyesight where you're going to prostrate to at all times. It's very important. The recitation is next. The Prophet peace be upon him would first seek refuge with God from the accursed Satan. Audhu billahi min shaitan rajim Which means I seek refuge with God from the accursed Satan. Prophet peace be upon him would then recite in the name of God, the most gracious, most merciful, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. The Prophet peace be upon him said, "The prayer is not accepted if one does not recite the first chapter, which we are covering now. The opening, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin, Ar Rahmanir Rahim, Maliki Yomidin." And the meaning is all praise and thanks are to God, the Lord of the worlds, the most gracious, the most merciful, the master of the day of judgment. You alone we worship and you alone we ask for help. Guide us to the straight way, the way of those whom you have blessed, and not the way of those who have earned your anger, nor of those that who went astray. I mean, so this is a translation. The Prophet peace be upon him would then recite another chapter from the Quran. And we have chosen the purity, chapter 112. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Kul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufu wan ahad. Which means in the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. And the meaning? Say he is God, the one and only God, the self-sufficient. He does not produce a child and he was not born of anyone and there is none equal to him. The raku, the bowing. After completing the recitation, the Prophet peace be upon him was paused for a moment, then raised his hand, saying the takbir, which is Allah Akbar, as it was done at the beginning of the prayer, and then bow. And we'll show you here, Allahu Akbar, in a minute, when the Prophet peace be upon him would bow. These are some notes here. The back, straight, replace the hands, and okay, let's see it live. So making the intention and then giving up everything in this world to submit to God in prayer raising the hands up to the shoulder saying Allah Akbar God is the greatest then placing the hands on the chest right over the left and then reciting the opening of Fatiha then another verse from the Quran and then when you're finished raising the hands up saying Allahu Akbar God is the greatest then going into the bowing position notice the back straight the head and you go back to all these notes that I've mentioned pause rewind until you get it right from here notice the 
hands. This has all been authentically recorded. So make sure that as many times as you have to rewind, pause, supplication in the bowing position. In this position, you will say three times, Subhana Rabbi Yaldin. Which means, how perfect is my Lord the Supreme? Now straightening up from the bowing position. Prophet peace be upon him will straighten his back up while raising his hands and saying Semi Allahu liman hamida which means God listens to the one who praises him so God's assuring you that he hears you in the standing position the Prophet peace be upon him would then say Rabbana la walakal hamd which means our Lord and to you be all praise okay let's see it live Okay, so he's in the bowing position. He says, Subhana Rabbi al three times. Now he comes up, Semi Allah, Huliman Hamidah, raising the hands up to the shoulders. We'll see it again. Semi Allah, Huliman Hamidah, raising the hands up to the shoulders. Now, get ready for the prostration. Prophet, peace be upon him, would then say the takbir, which is Allahu Akbar and get ready to prostrate. Let's take a look at this. Now, bring the hands first, knees come down, and then on those seven points we talked about. The forehead, tip of the nose, the hands, and all these other points here. And take a look at that. All these details are very important. The supplication in the prostrating position is as follows. He would say three times, Subhana Rabbi al which means glory be to my Lord the Most High. Okay, let's see that live. Okay, so now he prostrates and says Subhana Rabbi al three times, which means glory be to my Lord the Most High. Prophet peace be upon him said the nearest a servant comes to his Lord is during the prostration so make supplication in this position as much as you can then he would raise his head from the prostration he would say Allahu Akbar God is the greatest from here you come up and we show you Allahu Akbar he comes up now in the sitting position note note how he would sit and the details you guys can work on this the supplication in the sitting position one can make in the sitting position the prophet peace be upon him would say rabbik firli rabbik firli which means my lord forgive me we all need the forgiveness prophet muhammad peace be upon him would again say the takbir which is allahu akbar and then you prostrate for the second time. Say, Subhana Rabbi al ala Glory be to my Lord, the Most High. Okay, let's rewind and see this again. So, prostrated, comes up. He says, Allahu Akbar. God is the greatest. And again, Allahu Akbar. And then he says, Subhana Rabbi al ala three times. Which means, Glory be to my Lord, the Most High. Allahu Akbar comes up again. Prophet peace be upon him will then say the takbir which means Allah Akbar while raising his head from the prostration and stand notice when he stands how he's going to clinch his fist and these is going to carry his weight to help him stand up so he says Allahu Akbar leans his weight forward as he clinches the fist and stands up and that was the completion of one unit so now we're about to get ready for the second unit